What's up everybody to a brand new episode of Charge and Cruise. We are in a bit of a different setting today actually because me and the family just moved. We're only about an hour away from where I was at but it is a completely different setting as a matter of fact in the concrete jungle now because we moved to a much larger city. So yeah that's why I haven't uploaded in a while the moving and also trying to figure out the scheduling of this whole new setting that we got going on. Not a lot of room for e-bikes I mean the new spot is nice but I basically only have this patio to store e-bikes. We are in a very different city. I'm excited there's lots of new areas lots of new spots plenty to explore out here and also for the fans of the delivery videos hundreds of more restaurants so it should be very interesting but for this video actually i wanted to go ahead and highlight a new company for you guys a company that focuses on bike saddles bike seats whatever you want to call them reached out to me their name is ylg and they were very kind enough to send me a couple of their products they didn't just send one they didn't just send two they didn't just send three Ooh, but four of their premium bike seats for me to test out. Now, as far as compatibility goes, I only have the Juice Rip Racer and my DYU C3, which I have in storage, that are able to take off their bike seats. I'm not sure which one I want to put on the Juice Rip Racer. The stock saddle for the Juice Rip Racer isn't bad. It's very sleek. It even has a handle back here to help lift the bike up when you need it. But Man, the cushion is simply not there. So I'm glad YLG sent out a couple saddles for me. First one being this noseless. I think this is just the regular size noseless. It comes with the tools, everything you need. Pretty universal outfit right here. Got some suspension springs on the back as well. And yeah, very, very comfortable, almost like a memory foam. And these are weatherproof, so water is not going to soak into these i think this is their standard large size has a bit of a wingtip situation plant your cheeks on that right next one is going to be kind of a similar design again noseless as you can see no nose right here this one feels like it's like a gel of course has the suspension springs on the bottom and a nice little red sports trim right there yeah pretty cool uh i think this one's a bit smaller than the other one and this one has a bit of a more flat surface as opposed to the other one which had kind of like wing tips on the side here are the two noseless seats side by side as you can see this is almost like a his and her situation right both are very similar in size but different in design i'm thinking this one's a little more thicker on the padding but this one's a little more wider for i guess a more custom fit and the next one this one's a bit of a beefy fella but i specifically asked ylg for this model it has a little bit of an iridescent trim on the sides again very very soft cushioning springs on the bottom and it also has a tail light in the back which you can have it solid or off or flashing pretty cool but one of my favorite features of this very wide bike seat is this button right here click it and boom it has an actual secret compartment in the seat itself probably good for i don't know an emergency bike pump your keys your wallet stuff like that or maybe an air tag to hide under there just clicks right back in and yeah one of my favorite seats that they sent me again these seats all come with tools and you'll be ready to go universal fitting for the most part man that thing is so beefy compared to the stock seat of the juice strip racer and last but not least we got sent a big fella right here i'm pretty sure this is their extra large man look at this thing this thing looks like a bat ray again iridescent on the sides the sun's supposed to hit this and it'll have a nice sparkle for visibility but look at this beefy beefy bike seat guys crazy this is the size of like the handlebars almost but imagine putting this thing on the rip racer man I can only imagine the comfort. Got the wing tips on the side and these ones go actually really high angle. So man, you are gonna be stuck in there and seated. I'm not sure which one of these I'm gonna put on the Chew Strip Racer. I think I might try this out just for its absurd size to see 
if the comfort really is worth the size i mean it looks insane on a bmx style bike if it keeps my butt comfy then i might put it on there otherwise i'm sort of leaning towards this guy the one with the backlight and the secret compartment just because it's almost the same size well not even really look at the comparison to that so we'll go ahead and test these guys out for you once again thank you for ylg for sending these out and let's get to testing all right guys we just installed the extra large wide comfort bike seat from ylg with that iridescent strip as you can see in the sunlight it has a nice shimmer to it that borders along the bike seat pretty easy installation as well just your standard brackets it comes with a pretty good amount of adapters as well so you can put it on your pelotons and your different style seat posts this thing is so wide guys i'm not sure what to think about it by the looks of it it's really rather large especially for the bike frame of the juice strip racer i did bike it just a few feet down here and it was really really comfortable <laughs> as you can tell it cupped me really well a lot of good comfort there the only thing that was a little weird was these seats are so wide that you kind of feel like you're about to lean over too much and snap something it just has a weird feeling but i bounced on it a bunch of times and it is actually really sturdy man i don't even know what to call this i'm gonna call it the bat ray or something let's go ahead and take it for a little bit of a joy ride see what it's all about all right guys we are off and right off the bat this thing has lifted my bike seat height at least three or four inches to the point where I can't even touch the floor anymore. That's how tall the additional height this bike seat will give you. So it's definitely some pros and cons to it. The major pro being the crazy amount of comfort. It kind of feels like I'm on a moped style seat or something. I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot more comfort than a stock bike seat and plenty of cushion as well. Man, it makes my zoom seat post actually really, really comfortable. Before with the stock seat from the Rip Racer, I wouldn't really feel the suspension working, but with this thing, it like gathers all your body weight. Essentially what I'm trying to say is all that weight is focused on the seat post. It makes it so much easier for that energy to rebound back to you. Now with that extra rider height, it's actually pretty tough for me to pedal. I'm almost unable to pedal at this height. And I have this suspension seat post pretty much maxed out at the very bottom. And I can barely, barely pedal to the point where it's not really comfortable for me to pedal. So if you enjoy pedaling really, I don't think these wide, extra thick, comfortable seats are really the best buy just because of that extra height. I'm telling you, it makes basically pedaling on this thing uh, impossible, <laughs> at least for me. But if you wanted to just convert into a nice throttle style bike, man, this seat definitely makes a huge, huge difference. So yeah, here's a little bit of a look of what the bike seat might look like. Very, very comfortable, but also very, very high. <laughs> As you can tell, I mean, my feet basically cannot touch the ground. I feel like a little kid on tippy toes. That's just something you need to give up in order to get that extra layer of foam, right? I'm sure as you can see with the seat itself, there's a good amount of flicker on that iridescent strip, which makes for high visibility, especially at night. I'm pretty excited with the new city that we moved to. I mean, there's definitely a lot more gig work opportunities as far as the amount of restaurants there are, because I went from a city of like a couple hundred thousand to a city of uh, probably well over a million. So what do you guys think about the uh, YLG extra large seat that uh that we installed on the rip racer i'm sure it looks a little out of place i mean the size ratio is a little off but to be honest that's going to be with every bike that this seat is on it is a big chungus of a seat now we're going to go ahead and try on the other seats maybe in a different video i wanted to try out the big one just to get a baseline of what we're working with but overall i really enjoy the comfort it does suck that it takes away the pedaling experience but if you're in the market for a really comfortable bike saddle you really can't go wrong i mean ylg has a pretty solid lineup you can tell with just the amount of reviews it has on amazon most of their bike seats are like 4.5 stars and above with thousands of reviews so i'm stoked to actually test these ones out for you guys so thanks again for coming with me on this short little trip and review video <laughs> oh man it's tough pedaling this thing we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back now
Well, we have made it back to the e-bike patio. I think that's what I'm gonna call our little nook over here. The YLG extra large bike seat. Pretty good experience. As comfort wise, you really can't top it, especially paired with a suspension seat post. But will I keep this bike seat on the Rip Racer? That probably not. Mainly because I usually give the Rip Racer out to friends and family and uh, first time e-bike riders for them to test it out and because it's a very familiar experience you know it's got a bike frame really good pedaling experience so it's really easy for someone to pick it up but if i add this bike seat to it the skill level will just be a little too high it's just a little awkward to get on because it's so wide you have to be like a van dam you got to be able to do the splits because of how wide it is to get over so for that reason and that reason alone i'll probably take this bike seat off and downgrade or not downgrade but downsize to one of the other YLG seats that they sent me. Comfort wise, really, really nice though. So stay tuned because I'm going to be putting the other bike seats on there. I have a feeling the smaller bike seats are gonna be a little bit better. This is meant for the throttle enthusiasts, but because the Rip Racer is such a nice pedal friendly bike, I'll probably take this off. I mean, look at it compared to the Zebra right here. <laughs> it's almost as wide as a zebra moped style seat is long. In any case guys, thank you again for joining me today. I know it's a bit of a short video, a bit of a random video, but I have been really busy just getting used to this new neighborhood, this new city, and the scheduling that comes with it. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, go on a delivery ship for you guys. That's gonna be happen very soon. Pretty much got everything unpacked and settled. So we're just you know fine tuning the schedule, making sure that uh, everything is good in the household before I go out there and try to do some delivery vids for you guys. But until next time, take care, farewell.